Hey, it's Pete Thorne, and uh, we are in Long Beach, California at the, uh, I believe it's the Terrace Theater tonight, and uh, I am on the Melissa Etheridge 4th Street Feeling Tour, and we're just getting started. Uh, we've done about three shows, and so we're just still working the kinks out and stuff, but everything's going great. Um, I've kind of redesigned my rig uh, for this tour, and the uh, reason being that the record is really rootsy sounding, and I just kind of wanted to get back to, I've been using a stereo rig for a long time, and so for this particular tour, I thought oh, it might be nice to kind of run mono amps, maybe just a clean amp and a dirty amp, A-B them, and uh, just kind of more old school with all the effects and everything in front of the amps and just kind of make that work for this tour. So, th so I went with it and uh, it's working out great. Starting with the guitars, um, I'm using some different ones. I got some Sirs out for sure. I got a classic T and a couple classic S's. This is one of them that I've got a uh, uh, two V60 LPs and an SSV that's got serious parallel switching on it, which is, I, li I like using a humbucker in parallel a lot on Melissa's gig because it's almost like a single coil, but a little fatter. Still got that nice chime though. So, uh, so this guitar works out great for that. Um, I use an AKG wireless, uh, sits back here, it's the, the new AKG uh, digital wireless, which is just awesome. Um, so that works out really good. I come out of there all the way back over to my uh, pedal board. And I've, I've done some rundowns on this pedal board before. I've made a couple changes for this tour. So what's different on there? Um, basically I'm using a, 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 a Klon clone pedal from uh, uh, JHS, which works really good to just kind of boost and get a little bit more fatness. You can, it's kind of almost a leave on all the time. I don't leave it on all the time, but you could. It sounds, sounds great. Um, also, uh, XTS uh, Precision Multi-Drive down there. That's a, a great, uh, I don't want to say, uh, you know, TS9 type pedal, but sort of. It can be a lot of different things, though. It's very versatile. So, um, and uh, of course, using the Sir Coco Boost a lot for um, just a straight up clean boost, as well as the mid boost. When I want to get gnarly, I just hit that and sends the amps into nice overdrive. So, okay, um, this pedal board is designed with a, uh, an AB box built underneath and it's, uh, it's a MIDI AB box. So what I can do is uh, actually come out of the switcher you know, on the side here, I've got a jack and I can come out of that and then I plug into the timeline an M9. I come out of the, the M9 from line six and I go into a MIDI AB box, A and B out all the way back here to the amps. And uh, so per preset, I can kind of A-B between the uh, Jim Kelly amp and the Sir SL68 amp. And uh, the Kelly I'm using mainly for cleans, SL68 for uh, dirty rhythm tones, and I hit pedals uh, in order to send it into uh, you know, lead territory. So uh, talking about the amps a little bit, um, the Kelly is, is new to me. And uh, I, I played it at the, uh, the Sir shop, oh, I don't know, probably about eight months ago, a prototype, something like that. And I was just instantly blown away with the pure, clean, fat, warm, but bright, like the whole, it's all there. It's just an amazing sounding amp. Um, so I, I was like, wow, I really see one of these in my future. So now I have one and I love it. It's just fantastic. Um, couldn't be more simple. You know, you've got your gain slash volume control and uh, treble bass and reverb and that's it. And there's a few pull functions for mid boost, uh, bright switch and whatnot. And, uh, that's, that's all there is to it. Got the Kelly attenuator here as well, so I can knock a little bit of, uh, a little bit of decibels off for, for uh, certain stages and stuff, and it works out great. So let's start with that. Um, listening to the Kelly amp, I've just kind of got four basic presets that I use dialed up here. <laughs> Okay, and uh, with my basic sound I've got on the expression pedal, um, I've got uh, delay, so I can roll it all the way off. Or mix it in like that, and it, it keeps it nice for... Okay, so that's kind of my basic clean. Um, kicking on the a second sound here, this is still on the uh, Kelly amp. Uh, I've got uh, Analog Man King of Tone and get just kind of a nice, uh, real chimey, you know, slightly overdriven tone.
So that sound comes in handy a lot on this gig. It's um, you know just a, just a great straight up uh, clean with a little bit of crunch. So uh, look, now looking at the SL68, um, I'm over on uh, a sound that's using that amp right now, and I got the, the humbucker in parallel. <laughs> That's a great sound, then I can just kick this in and I'll go full humbucking. Okay, so that's with the, uh, the SSV in full humbucking mode on the SL. And that's no pedals or anything, it's just the, the amp straight. So I've had a lot of people ask me, like, how do you run delay in front of a dirty amp and whatnot? Well, the amp's not really, like, if the amp's set about there not too much more dirty than that, you're cool to add some delay in, so I'll just blend some in on the uh, expression pedal. See here, it works fine in front of an amp that's, that's not too dirty. I can just, you know, blend it in, blend it out using the expression pedal, so it's, it's pretty cool. And then uh, the, the next sound that I have here, I can dial up a uh, lead sound pretty easy, just adding in the XTS Precision Multi-Drive. <laughs> Once again, the, all that delay is on the expression, so if I want to dry it up. If I get crazy and roll in the delay, I can do that. And then just taper it out. It's fun. I mean, delay in front of a dirty amp is kind of like, it can be a little gnarly, but it's cool. I mean, Zeppelin did it, all kinds of bands did it, so why not? Um, all right, so uh, that's, that's basically it. Um, let's talk about the Cocoa Boost for a minute. If I'm, uh, you know, just wanting to make a part kind of stick out, um, it's really easy to get to on my switcher here. This, this is just the clean, the clean boost on the Cocoa. Adds a bit of hair to the amp. Start to get a bit of feedback and whatnot. And then if I want to get crazy, I'll hit the, uh, the mid boost side. Okay, so it just gives the amp enough, enough more grind and drive and kick in the front end and whatnot to make things feed back. And I like it right about there where it's not too much drive, you know, it's just like classic rock kind of drive. Works excellent on this gig. I'm starting off with the V60LPs as opposed to the ML pickups. Um, I like them both. Um, the V60LPs are a little greasier to me or something, like in the mids, which I really dig. Um, but I've, I've used the MLs on other guitars and they sound great too. I've kind of gone back and forth like in the same guitar, I've switched out the, the different singles and I'm like, oh, there's things I like about both of them, you know, so I think they're great. If you want a little bit more of that kind of greasy, you know, I don't know, for lack of a better, like bluesy mids or something, um, V60LPs are the way to go and that's what I've got in here now. Uh, but it's, it's really kind of splitting hairs because they're both great sounds. So I can get used to either of them, they're really cool. The SSV, this guitar in particular just sounds fantastic. It's got this really woody, like a lot of the wood tone comes through for some reason on this particular guitar. And I find sometimes on a, you know, a humbucker and a Strat, it's not the case, it can be kind of a generic sound or something, but not with this. It's got this real warm, um, 
I don't know, you can just hear the tone of the guitar come through the pickup a lot. And that's in particular what I really like about PAF style, lower output style pickups, and in particular the SSVs. It seems to accentuate that, like, you, you know, it's going to sound different in different guitars and really bring out the, the, that wood tone in your guitar. So the SSV uh, balances really, really well with single coils as well, especially in parallel mode. So you, here's the V60 in the neck. <laughs> Switching to the SSV. Okay, and then into full humbucking, it still balances as well. It's still not like dramatically louder than the single coils or anything. It, it, it's just a really great balance, um, you know. So it's it's terrific to put in a guitar in a hum single single configuration. I really like it. So with the SL68, um, the thing that I really love about it and uh, these vintage style amps in general is. Um, you know, they're just so dynamic and they respond to different guitars in a way that um, uh, modern amps are great, um, but, but I find that with a vintage amp you just get that much more color and character and the guitars just speak even more. It's, it's an interesting thing, but... Um <laughs> It's just a beautiful tone. You know, guys talk about rolling down the volume on their guitar and whether the amp cleans up or not. Well, nothing will clean up like an old plexi-style amp like the XL68 is, so I'll show you what I mean. You know, you can just get a basic, basically a clean sound, uh, you know, pretty easily out of the... So that kind of dynamic quality is what I really love about it. And it really responds to different pedals well. I mean, it, you know, different overdrives and stuff will take on completely different, it, you know, you transform the amp with them. So it's very cool. Um, you've also got all these options as far as uh, the feel and reducing the volume because the amp on the back has a post-phase inverter master volume. So right now, I, I've got this attenuator up here, but I'm actually not using it right now. Um, I'm using the post-phase inverter master and it's running on about six right now. So, you know, I've got the amp down to a nice level. It's also got the built-in Variac uh, switch, which will go from 90 volts to a full 117 volts. So I can demonstrate that really quick. Okay, so that's, that's 90 volt mode. Put it in standby. Pop the switch into full power mode. Hopefully this won't be clipping the recorder now. We'll see, but... Everything gets just a little bit bolder and you get a little bit more volume out of the amp for sure. It's probably a couple dB difference, something like that, but, uh, but it's definitely a difference. So I really like the feel of the amp in the Variac mode, 90 volts. So I like how the pilot light gets a little dimmer. It's pretty cool. It just gets a little bit squishier and a little more tactile or something under the fingers. I love the feel. And the volume goes down a bit, which, you know, the, the sound guy loves. So, uh, so that's it, the SL68.